Cotabato City has a total population of 271,786. It is composed of 37 barangays and has a total land area of 17,599 hectares. It is called the City of Rivers and Islets that is distinct from other cities. It is the delta between two rivers, the Tamontaca River and the Rio Grande de Mindanao, a major commercial artery in the heartland of Mindanao. It was on June 20, 1959 when Cotabato City was officially created into a chartered city by virtue of Republic Act 2364. Since then, Cotabato City has been under 21 administrations, both elected and appointed chief executives. The city government of Cotabato is composed of 14 departments to include the office of the city mayor, the Sangguniang Panunsod, city budget office, City Accounting and Internal Audit Services, City Assessor's Office, City Treasury, City General Services Office, City Planning and Development Office, City Veterinary Office, City Engineering Office, City Social Welfare and Development Office, Local Civil Registry, City Health Office, and the City Legal Office. The Cotabato City LGU is strictly implementing the No Lunch Break in accordance with the Civil Service Commission policy. Employees record their office hours through the biometric system at the City Hall's lobby. To ensure their competitiveness and best working behavior, the local government employees are given the opportunity to attend seminars and trainings that are in line with their assigned tasks inside their respective offices. Each department's citizen's charter is also displayed in conspicuous areas inside their offices and save more time for our clients in transacting with the government. The LGU has also established a customer assistance desk at the lobby where our clients and visitors can ask for directions and other information in going around the city hall. Also located at the assistance desk is the suggestion or complaint box. This box is opened at the end of every month and is being evaluated and forwarded to the concerned department or office by the Human Resources Office. Because of the city's compliance to the rules and guidelines of the Department of Interior and Local Government and the Civil Service Commission, the city government gained a final score of 93.03 or an excellent rating in the last Anti-Red Tape Act report card survey conducted by the DILG. With the active leadership and initiative of the current administration, headed by Mayor Japal Gyani Jr., Cotabato City has been recognized by several award-giving bodies in the last five years. In 2012, the city government was awarded the Seal of Good Housekeeping in the Bronze category. In 2013, it received the same award in the Silver category. The Seal of Good Housekeeping is conferred to local government units that comply with the full transparency policy of the national government. In the same year, Cotabato City was recognized as one of the most business-friendly cities in the first-class city category in the whole country by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Cotabato City was also the 37th most competitive city in the search for the top 50 most competitive cities and municipalities awarded by the National Competitiveness Council. In 2014, the city government of Cotabato was given the seal of child-friendly governance by the Department of Social Welfare and Development Region 12. Because of this recognition, Cotabato City was an automatic finalist to the presidential search for the most child-friendly cities and municipalities. Not only that, Cotabato City was also able to reach the top three spot in the said search in the Independent Component Cities category. Also, from being the 37th place in 2013, Cotabato City jumped to the 31st place out of the more than 100 LGUs that participated in the search for the most competitive cities and municipalities in the whole country. This year, Cotabato City leaped to top 4 in the nationwide search for the most competitive cities and municipalities in the component city category. The National Competitiveness Council also recognized Cotabato City as 6th place in government efficiency and 8th place in infrastructure. The DILG also gave recognition to Cotabato City for its commitment to good financial housekeeping, disaster preparedness, business friendliness and competitiveness, peace and order, and environmental management. 
Though Cotabato City is considered the mother city of Region 12, it has experienced more struggles when it comes to inviting investors to come in than its offspring like General Santos City. It is not because Cotabato City has nothing to offer the investors. Its reputation has just been tarnished due to the volatile peace and order situation in its neighboring province of Maguindanao. But with the efforts of the local government and its partners from the private sector, potential investors are slowly discovering the beauty of Cotabato City. As one Malaysian investor described, Cotabato City is a hidden gem. I have to say that the trust that has been built with local partners really gave me confidence to come here in Cotabato to help locals. It has so much to offer, from skillful manpower to rich natural resources. One of our richest industries and the most prospective investment opportunity is the crab production. Cotabato City crabs are distinct from all the other crabs in the country. Our mud crabs have a very delectable sweet taste that a simple steam is enough for anyone to enjoy it. We have a wide area for crab propagation at Barangay Kalanganan, one of our coastal villages. It has approximately 1,700 hectares of crab breeding land. The reproduction of the city's mud crabs is handled by several groups and cooperatives that are being supported by the city government. To further improve the capabilities and skills of our micro, small, and medium enterprises in the city, the city government, in tie-up with the business chambers, has conducted several trainings in product branding and development and also has given financial assistance to them. We also have non-food products like the bright and colorful inol that is meticulously weaved by Muslim women. Our Maguindanawan delicacies are also popular staples in special occasions. These are all displayed and sold at trade fairs that the city government conducts annually. Entrepreneurs are encouraged to join the trade fairs as these are proven to really promote their business and help them reach larger market. But since we are already at the digital age, Cotabato City LGU has upgraded its innovative approach in promoting trade and investment by making use of social networks like Facebook and posting updates on the city's official website www.cotabatocity.net.ph With this, new investments quickly started pouring in. Commercial buildings sprouted all around the city. In the last five years, commercial complexes, hotels, food franchises, hypermarkets and malls started constructing and opening in Cotabato City. At present, Cotabato City has a total of 2,714 new investments, including 9 new investments with a capital amounting to 100 million pesos to 1.25 billion pesos. As provided by the revised investment code of Cotabato City, the city government is providing tax incentives to the new investments through a categorization depending on their capital. We are expecting more investments to be coming in this year. More jobs and improvement in the quality of life of our people. In 2010, just when Mayor Gani assumed position, he created the Task Force Business Licensing who are going around the city and updating tax collection from every establishment, big or small. With this effort, the city's income has slowly risen and from the total income of 85.4 million pesos in 2008, it is now at 129 million pesos in 2014. 
Because of the recent construction of a franchise mall and hypermarket and the opening of a prime department store, rival companies have been in constant communication with the local government and plans of establishing their brands in the city are now in its final stage. They are expected to start constructing in 2016. These new investments not only contributed to the bustling economic climate in Cotabato City, but more importantly, it has provided new job opportunities to thousands of Cotabatenos. In 2014, 630 individuals were hired in different private establishments with the help of the trade promotion activities that the city government is conducting. This is almost 50% higher than that of 2013. Malaking naitulong. Ako po, marami po naitulong yung local government po. Like yung pagtatayo ng mga building dito. Yung, uh, hindi na po kailangan na ang ibang bansa ka. Kasi andito na yung opportunity na kailangan, uh, pwede mong pasukan ng work. This year, with the opening of several big malls and other franchise stores in the city, the Public Employment Services Office has recorded almost 1,000 job vacancies that include managerial, supervisory, support staff, and utility worker positions. What is more remarkable is the agreement between the local government and these private investors to prioritize applicants that are residents of Cotabato City. To adhere to the city's goal of 0% out of school youth, the city government is working side by side with the Mindanao Youth Development in training thousands of out of school youth in Cotabato City in basic customer service, cashiering, bagging, and other skills needed by support staff applicants in malls and hypermarkets. Kasi kung wala po yung establishment na yun, sa, paano po kami makakaanap ng trabaho? Ano po, punta naman kami po sa ibang bansa para makakaanap ng trabaho? Maganda po ngayon kasi maraming ng establishment, maraming yung sa Cotabato City. Sa ngayon, medyo peaceful na rin. Kaya napakaganda ng opportunity po yan sa amin na bagong graduate na magkaanap ng trabaho sa ibang All of these efforts are slowly paying off as proved by recent survey results wherein unemployment rate of Cotabato City has gone down to 6.1% in 2014 from 10.2% in 2013. In the latest household assessment conducted by the Department of Social Welfare and Development Field Office 12, out of the targeted 77,701 households that were below poverty line in the past year, it has now gone down to only 40,068 households, almost 50% lower. With the support and cooperation of the 37 barangays in Cotabato City, the local government has successfully launched the following projects in the barangay level. Solid Waste Management Program Integrated Security System Program Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Cotabato City is also the first in the whole country to have organized the ALERT or the All Ladies Emergency Response Team. This is an indication of the local government's gender sensitivity which is very crucial especially to our Muslim brothers and sisters. In Cotabato City, it has been our lifelong vision to see every Katabateño enjoying the benefits of a peaceful, secured, and highly developed multicultural community. We will bring Cotabato City to progress. We will move each and every road for us to be able to uplift the lives of every people in Cotabato City. And today, this dream is slowly becoming a reality. The city government of Cotabato, through the leadership of Mayor Chapalgiani Jr., together with its partners from the private sector, is already treading that extra mile in fulfilling the promise of development, peace, and progress to its citizens. All of these can be summed up in the inclusive program called Life for Every Cotabateño. Livelihood, food, and employment for every Cotabateño.